Hello viewer and welcome to Spotlight here on Hope TV where you look and live. And on Spotlight we are always doing our very best to bring to you persons who are impacting our community in the direction of light. And one of the big things about um, our country being a very religious country uh, is just the lingering question you know, what is God saying about Kenya? Now, a lot of things are said about Kenya, about revival sometimes. But what about politics? Well, I mean, what is God saying about the political situation in Kenya? And I'm sure that that is something that you would want to know. I also would want to know. And to help us in that discussion today, uh, we have uh, with us Kennedy Akidiva. Now, Kennedy Akidiva is an ambassador of Christ. Uh, and also, he is a political exegete. Hmm. He is also a political instructor. He'll tell us about what this means. But one interesting thing is that uh, uh, he analyzes the day-to-day -day events, I mean, the news items or what's making the news, uh, using the Bible as the primary analytical tool. Hmm. So, what is God saying about the taxes? What is God saying about, maybe just people talk about rigging an election. What's God saying about that? Uh, what's God saying about the doctor strike, for instance? What, I mean, and we have with us to answer those questions for us, to guide us in this conversation. Uh, we have again Kennedy Akidiva. Welcome to Spotlight. Thank you so much, Edward. Welcome. Happy to be here. Well, yeah. you're very welcome. Thank it's you, the very first so time I'm, I'm, I'm hearing yeah. uh, like um, a person who analyzes yes. the day-to-day -day events yes. using the Bible as a tool. I mean, it's, it's the first you know, time, but it's very interesting. Uh, something that uh, most people should realize mm -hmm. that uh, the Bible mm. is the most comprehensive political book mm -hmm. in the history of Adam mm, and his mm, descendants. Mm. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you hear about uh, church and politics, sometimes people bring a division, trying to separate. But today I'm going to demystify that because they are inseparable. Mm -hmm. In fact, politics is what proves that the Bible is true. Whoa. I mean, um Kennedy, we are busy trying to separate <laughs> yeah. church and state. Yes. And now you tell us that... They are inseparable. They are inseparable? Yes. Oh, yes. Now, yeah. you see, there's a danger there. Yeah. There's a big danger because uh, if we put... Danger the of the unknown. Yo, if we put the Bible yes. and say that the Bible is now going to yeah. be guiding the state... Yes or the state is going to be referencing the Bible yes. uh, in terms of its leadership yes. expressly, yeah. and that is um, as part of practice, not, not, not as personal faith, yeah. but as part of practice, yeah. then, uh, I mean, that, that, yes. that, 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 that kind of difficulty with navigating yes. faith and politics, I mean, it would be let, quite let, let, a difficult knot to undo. Just to give you a glimpse here mm -hmm. of it, eh? when you look at life, in its fullness. It's a movie. Mm -hmm. And if life is a movie, in its fullness, looking at uh, the, the sports, looking at the social life, looking at politics, looking at uh, the church itself, then where is the script of this movie? Mm -hmm. That's the question that we should be asking ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, to justify or to prove this concept, as you've said, I'm going to highlight some of the things that uh, maybe are in the news, mm -hmm. then give it a script okay. from the Bible, because it's a movie. What we want, what we should be asking, where's the script, where's the script? as you've mentioned? You know, as, about, we, as, uh, as we look at yes. the script, yes. let's also realize there's a script mm. uh, called the Constitution. True. That Yes, we're a God-fearing nation, and we are allowed to worship, yeah. Um, in as many ways as there are people, yeah. but we define ourselves also yeah. as a secular state. Now, mm -hmm. uh, as you've mentioned, uh, I am a political exegete. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? 
An exeget is someone who explains event from all across the spheres of life mm, mm. and give it a meaningful and coherent sense of sense of meaning and message using the Bible as the basic analytical tool. Mm. On the other side, you will have a political uh, scientist. He will use scientific methods to analyze politics. But here, I want to do the same analysis, mm -hmm. but I'll use the Bible as the basic analytical tool. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as a Christian, and uh, I've studied systematic theology, mm -hmm. one thing I've come to realize that there's nothing new under the sun. There's a pattern. You see, this suit you are wearing, there's someone else with a very similar mm -hmm. suit. Yeah? Made, it could be by the same person or a different person, but the pattern was created, the design was created by mm -hmm. one person. Mm -hmm. So if I take the template of that design, I'm able to replicate the same. This building you are in, it has a design, a structural design. Then it means if I want to replicate this, I'll just use that design mm -hmm. and go somewhere else, even in another country, and do have the same thing, a replica of this. Mm -hmm. When we say there's nothing new under the sun, it means what we are seeing happening today has happened somewhere in the history. Mm -hmm. So how do we get that pattern? Mm -hmm. So let's use, for example, the case of Kenya. When you ask, what is God saying about Kenya? Mm. In the first place, we will, people will ask, because I want to, I've had this case where I was having a discussion with the, the atheists. Mm -hmm. So people ask, who is God? One of the easiest way to show people who is God and that God exists is to prove the authenticity of the the Bible. The scriptures, yes. The scriptures. Having said this, eh, we need, as I, I had mentioned earlier, that the Bible is the uh, most comprehensive book in the history of Adam. Mm. Com uh, political in sense, because the Bible is the first to show us the three angles of leadership or of power or politics. One, uh, pointing towards power, mm. where the sword is used. That is why when you see, when there's change of God, a sword is given. Mm -hmm. That tradition came from where? It's from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Number, number, one, number uh, two, yeah. it points towards justice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is where the constitution comes in. It came from where? Bible. Number three, it points towards the standard. That's why every president, for example, in Kenya, has a presidential standard. Yeah. You can look from Jomo Kenyatta to Moi to uh, uh, Mwai Kibaki to Uhuru, now to Ruto. Mm -hmm. Everybody has his own presidential standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah? These, all these traditions are being copied from the Bible. All right. Let, let's, let's stay with that. Yes. Um, because I want first to, before we go to the script, because yes. you're already on the script. Yes. Because you're saying these are movie where is the script. Yes, yes. Um, uh, because there is a whole school of thought yeah. that says that there's no script. Mm -hmm. I mean, you make your story. Uh, you, 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 you don't get fit in a template. Yeah. You make your own story. I mean, yeah. That is something that is just, uh, uh, I don't know how I can put it. Mm -hmm. It's just in the thoughts of people. But basically, everything you are doing today, what we are doing today, what uh, the president is doing today, everything has a script. Knowingly or unknowingly, mm -hmm. you are fulfilling a script. Whoa. And we want now to look at that specifically. Mm -hmm. And uh, giving now Kenya as the highlight, it's very important. Why? Mm -hmm. Even the Bible itself has told the whole world to look at Kenya. Are you aware Kenya is in the Bible? Many people don't know Kenya is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. When you read the book of Isaiah chapter 18, from verse 1 to 3, you realize that the Bible is saying there's a nation that is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. It borders the sea. 
yeah, because it sends ambassadors by the sea. And verse 3, it goes ahead and say, All you inhabitants of the world, see ye when he raises a flag or a banner on the mountain, and when he blows a trumpet, you hear. So why is God alerting the whole world to look at that country mm -hmm. beyond the rivers of Ethiopia? Mm -hmm. And how can we know specifically mm -hmm. it's Kenya? The Bible is a prophetic book. And when you hear people separating politics and church, it's like separating politics and the Bible. But when I study uh, even Jesus himself, there's a place he mentions in Matthew 24, verse 15. He says, when you see the abomination that causes the desolation mm -hmm. spoken, of Dan, uh, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, when you read, may you understand. Mm -hmm. Then when you come to Daniel, when you read, you realize that the, the whole book is given, has given itself to uh, political and social agitations. Now, if I don't understand politics, how will I understand the book of mm. Daniel? Mm -hmm. How will I understand Revelation? Mm. Now, Revelation 1.19 says, write the things that you've seen, that is history, mm -hmm. the things that you are seeing now, and the things that will come here after. How can you do that mm -hmm. if you don't have the knowledge of God? Mm -hmm. Because it's only God who is Alpha, Omega. Mm. So if we are able to show a pattern of things past, present, and future mm -hmm. and give a script from the Bible, then we are able to justify that the Bible is truth and the script mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you a pattern. How can you use the Bible to understand politics, for example? Mm -hmm. How can you use the Bible to understand sports? Let's start with politics. Mm. Or you want to start with sports? Let's, let's do politics. Let's, let's do it politics. Okay. Yes. I, want to, you, I want to draw uh, uh, an, an illustration from the book of Daniel chapter 11. Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 11, here Daniel speaks of the kings that will come. And he mentions, he says, here I tell you the truth, this is verse 2. Behold, there shall come three kings. Mm -hmm. Then they shall come the fourth. Then he gives the description of the fourth. After the fourth, he goes ahead to give the fifth. Now, this is the pattern that I want to use for us to understand mm -hmm. what has happened in Kenya before, what is happening now, mm -hmm. and be able now to start projecting where mm -hmm. the script is uh, is taking us yeah we are, we are listening listening to the pattern now yeah. mm -hmm. when you're reading the bible there are questions that arises you have to engage the bible as a living thing as a living mm -hmm. entity mm -hmm. you have to ask questions mm -hmm. what do you mean like for example when i'm reading the when i'm studying my bible mm -hmm. for example when i read a verse like daniel chapter 2 verse 11 which says mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now i will show you the the truth Behold, there shall stand up yet three kings in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than they all, and by the strength through his riches he shall stir up all against the realm of Russia. Then I'll ask, okay, you have shown me the truth. Who are these three kings? Who are these? Who is this fourth? Mm -hmm. Then it, it, is, it informs me, to you, for you to understand this verse, you need to start from the, the clearer, as you face the less clearer. Mm -hmm. Now, we have been told, about three, nothing else has been mentioned. Mm -hmm. But the fourth, we are being given details that number one, he'll be rich. Then number two, he will galvanize all against the realm of Greece. Mm -hmm. So as I was studying this, I went to study the history of Greece. Now let me start now by mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. what is clear. Greece has been mentioned. When you study the history of Greece, like between 2011, 2012, 2013, the people of Greece because of the austerity measures that the government had put in place, the people of Greece had taken their government to court, to ICC at The Hague, mm. uh, for crimes, saying that those austerity measures had caused uh, crimes against humanity, and therefore they, are, they, they, they were seeking justice from the International yes. mm. Criminal Court. When was that? 
2012-2013. The same period, 2012-2013, Kenya was looking for the fourth president. Mm -hmm. Then this fourth president had the ICC case on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Here it is saying the fourth will defeat what the people of Greece will be doing at that time. Therefore, this tells you, for the scripture to be fulfilled, mm -hmm. the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya had to have that ICC case on his shoulder mm -hmm. and he had to defeat it. You're getting the point? Mm -hmm. Then we ask ourselves, okay, uh, then what next? Mm -hmm. You start getting the pattern. Then mm -hmm. it goes ahead and tells you, after him now, the fifth, um, he will be a mighty king who shall stand up and shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. Mm -hmm. Now you get the pattern. We've, nothing has been said about the first three, but the fourth, there's some information. And the fifth. And the, some fifth. Then mm -hmm. the fifth we are being told, he will rule according to his will. It means this someone who will come as a king and whatever he wants to do, he will accomplish. In the sense that if he wants to raise taxes, he will raise. Yeah? If he wants to do what, he will do it. Mm -hmm. Because the script, this is now an actor. He has to fulfill this script. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want us to go to the specifics now of the taxes, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. we ask ourselves, now we've been told about this fourth and fifth. How will be the transition between mm -hmm. this fourth and the fifth? Mm -hmm. How will this fourth exit the stage mm -hmm. and how will this fifth come into come in. mm -hmm. to play? We go to verse 19. Mm -hmm. Verse 19, uh, verse 19 says this. Eh? Verse 19 says, Then shall he turn his face toward the foot of his people. Now this is the fourth. Eh? Mm -hmm. But he shall stumble and fall and not be found. Now, the fourth, at the end of his reign, mm. he, where he came with a proposal and he mm. went to his own people that it is my wish that we follow this route. Is that we the BBI? Go, uh, we go the Azmi way. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. BBI, it fell. Mm. He went again with the uh, Azmi. Mm -hmm. His people did not embrace that, particularly uh, the Mount Kenya people. Mm. So his idea, his proposal, uh, uh, was defeated. Mm. Now, who takes over from him? Verse 20, it says, Then shall stand up in his estate a raiser of taxes mm -hmm. in the glory of the kingdom. Hmm. No, that's, that's, uh, you see? <laughs> that, that's interesting. Uh, so, uh, yeah. that one tells you clearly that he might not be knowing, mm -hmm. but he's fulfilling the script. Mm -hmm. But it's good to fulfill the scripture knowing mm -hmm. the full story. All right. Now, now I, I hear you uh, yeah. on that. I have a question. Yes. Because you've taken this now yes. as a pattern. As a pattern. As a template. Yes. A template. And using that, yes. I mean, you can tell that mm. there is a relevance in yeah. a connection yeah. to what you're saying. Mm. And um, my question is, what about the sixth? The sixth. What pattern do you use yes. to tell about the sixth? Exactly. Then you continue with the story. Oh, there's a story? Continue with the story. <laughs> uh, when you go to verse 21, it says, after him now, after mm -hmm. he's done his part. Mm. Yeah? Because he raised taxes, he's done his part. So, I wish you can... <laughs> you know, there are things, Edward, mm -hmm. uh, wisdom in exegesis tells us uh, there's time for everything. Mm. So... Even right now, there are informations I cannot say here. I'll mm -hmm. just give you what is relevant for this. Which is, I respect no, that. Uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. people will ask, okay, he will raise taxes for how long will mm -hmm. he rule? Mm -hmm. That is uh, for another Let's day. go to the sixth. The sixth? Mm -hmm. Let's get the description. It says, and in his, test, in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor or the kingdom, but he shall come peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Ooh. Therefore, if you want to know the sixth president of Kenya, number one is somebody who doesn't deserve to be called king. That's number one. So if you are Kennedy, <laughs> if you deserve to be called king, uh -huh. say bye bye to the sixth president. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can't. This somebody, you know the word vile. Mm. Vile 
is a person yeah who does things uh, yeah? in a manner that uh, you cannot the way he talks the way he does his things mm -hmm. yeah okay. he doesn't deserve royalty now uh, from what you're saying therefore Kennedy, yes. you, you 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 should be looking now for those now who will be presenting themselves to be the sixth then who is the odd one out then this one is the sixth <laughs> that sounds funny but i yeah. know politically it can yeah. get really messy yes but um you know when when you say that now mm. um again mm. w what's the place of uh aspects like prayer you know yeah. mm. uh aspects like um you know s civic action yes. you know because it sounds like mm. you know it's it's not a very good picture like mm. going forward it's yeah. like a, a picture of doom you know <laughs> in a way but, but, really? but that, that's you know but but what's the place of like we are praying Pray. maybe okay. we are and we would want a Kenya to be different, and we are praying about it. Yes. Uh, there is a, a civil society that mm. is educating the people, so yes. they can maybe yeah. when they go to the ballot, they do something different. I mean, how does how do all these things link up with the pattern that you? And the Bible says eh? mm. concerning uh, voting. It says, uh, "Make motion mm -hmm. and go and cast your vote." But the decision, the final decision, God Himself. Mm -hmm will make. Mm -hmm. When you go to vote as a Christian, as a Kenyan, don't go to vote for who will win. Go to vote. Your responsibility is to vote for the right person. Mm -hmm. Why? Deuteronomy 113 says, choose ye wise, understanding, and known people amongst your tribes. Mm -hmm and I'll make them heads over you. When you go to vote, it's not your mandate to decide who will be mm -hmm. uh, announced. Your mandate is to go and vote for the right person mm. based on the principle that the Bible says. Then your responsibility ends there. Whatever the commission does, if they, they elect, if they announce the right person, it's up to them. If they announce the wrong person, it's up to them. But for you as a Kenyan, as a Christian, your sole responsibility, sacred responsibility, when you're going to the ballot, is to do what? To, to elect a wise, mm -hmm. understanding, known person. So it means as a Christian, you have to be following these politicians, how they talk, how they do their things. But when you go to vote, you are informed. The other part of deciding uh, the person that is given mm -hmm. the, the, the win or denied is not your part. Who's, who's, whose part is it? That is the part everybody, you see, everybody will be judged by the responsibility that you have been given. Mm -hmm. If you are not IBC commissioner, <laughs> leave it. Your, your work is to go and vote. The rest, leave. Mm -hmm. There are those clerks to do their thing. If they'll, they'll count the votes and change, that is their own making. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They'll be, uh, why am I saying this? Because sometimes we try to do things that are not within our responsibility, and we end up messing up things mm -hmm. and not changing them. So let everybody do their responsibility, then everybody will be answerable on mm -hmm. their own. Okay. Where's the part of prayer? Mm -hmm. When we are praying, we must be informed of the seasons and the pattern of God. Why? The Word of God says that God has elevated or raised his word above even his own name. Mm. What does it mean? If God says Edward is the sixth president and Kenyans don't want to vote for Edward, they go and vote for other people and Edward's vote hijack it up. Mm -hmm. If God has said Edward, then God will know how he will fill that mm -hmm. bucket. Yeah? 
prayer let it be informed by the word for example elisha is sent uh, king uh, the, the story of uh, ben hadad mm -hmm. king ben hadad he sends his junior to go and ask the prophet he was sick he sends hazael mm -hmm. to ask the prophet whether he will live or die when hazael who is now the, like the deputy goes to the prophet elisha prophet tells him the king will die mm -hmm. but don't when you go to him tell him he will live mm -hmm. you see the prophet knows the king will die but he's telling azael with the deputy tell the king mm -hmm. he will live what does azael do he goes then before before that the king starts to cry then azael asks why are you crying the king says god has showed me what you'll do to the people mm -hmm. you'll be very cruel azael asks am i a dog what powers do i have the prophet reveals when the king dies mm -hmm. you will be the king mm -hmm. but you will be cruel you will be vile therefore elisha had no place to change this course god had told me mm -hmm. told him azael was not a good person mm -hmm. already god has told him this person is going to do what to be a vile person but mm -hmm. he's going to be the king the king will die okay when you read us to now you get the context mm. now when you are praying you cannot pray to change the the, the word of god mm -hmm. for example if osea 13:13 13 says concerning ephraim mm -hmm. that he is an unwise son yeah mm -hmm. he should not stay long in the place of breaking forth of children yeah so Ephraim God is giving him as a king to the children of Israel yeah but he says I've given you this king in anger kwa asira mm -hmm. so we should know seasons in which season are we mm -hmm. you see um well, Kennedy there yeah. the, the risk I'm finding yes um is um is the thought that because in Kenya for instance there are lo lots of claims of rigging are real yes real, real. we've gone we've gone to the supreme court yes. several times now yes, yes. Um, and even going to, going going forward mm. you can hear people talking about rigging already even now before we go to yeah. you know the next elections yes uh, so now i mean mm. what do you now say yeah. in terms how of installation that, of king how does that fulfill the, how the, does rigging fulfill the word of god Yeah. To fulfill yeah, yeah. how where does it fit in it's like this within the pattern of god there come there's a, the, the 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 calculations eh? is 1 to 7 then start to 1 yeah mm -hmm. so god counts once the first season second third fourth fifth sixth then seventh mm -hmm. there's a rest then we come and we start the pattern again mm -hmm. now within these seven patterns within seven seasons there is a season that is set aside i wish uh, okay mm -hmm. let me just show you mm -hmm. so that you mm -hmm. so, so that now you understand here yeah? and this one I'll want is this exigit is quite let's check the one mm -hmm. let, let's check zachariah mm -hmm. chapter 5 Zechariah chapter 5. Mhm. Mm Zechariah chapter 5 says Mhm. Mm you can read it, it's fine. Yeah? Just read it. Let's hear. You can it. read it says. Mm. Eh? Mm. Uh if I can pick from verse 3. Mm -hmm. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on the other side according to it i will bring it forth says the lord of hosts and mm -hmm. it shall enter into the house of the thief mm -hmm. and into the house of 
him that swears falsely by my name. And it shall remain there in the midst of his house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof and with the stones thereof. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the word is saying there is a crown that is set aside that God will send mm -hmm. to the house of a thief, mm -hmm. to the house of him who swears falsely by what? By his name. Now, for this word to be fulfilled, it means a season will come when God will allow somebody to rig himself in. Mm -hmm. How can you block that? Mm. You'll be blocking the word of God. Therefore, by all means, mm. it has to happen when the season comes. Mm -hmm. For example, when you look at the book of Job, most people have never understood that story. That when the, chi the children of God were gathering, Satan also came mm -hmm. with them. And God addresses Satan. I ask him, where are you? from he says what i'm from roaming the earth then mm -hmm. he places a request before god to do what to torment job mm -hmm. then god gives him an okay so people will wonder which kind of mm. father is this? which kind of creator is this why is he giving satan permission to torment job mm. who is this satan when you read the book of job you'll come to understand that mm -hmm. this uh, figure that the Bible is referring to a certain came also was the king of the day. Mm -hmm. You get a point? Mm -hmm. There's a season where God will allow some things to happen because the pattern is already there. Okay. You know, um, Kennedy, I must say that uh, Kenyans are looking for good news. Yeah. You know, we don't want to go through an, you know, another cycle of like bad times, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, so from where you sit as, mm. um, as an exeget, yes. um, where will the good news, when, when will the good news come? If you see God allowing a season where he allows the church to die, if I may use that word, mm -hmm. it's because... <coughs> <coughs> The word is given to it. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be fulfilled. Like when Jesus is choosing the 12 disciples, he knew clearly that one of them mm. will betray him. Mm. And he said it beforehand. So is there a way? He said one, 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 one of you is a devil. Yes. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. there a way that this person will evade? no way. Mm. As much as we are looking for good news, we need to know there's time for everything. That's mm. why the wisest man that the, 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 the Bible mentions mm -hmm. states in Ecclesiastes, there's time for everything. Mm. Yeah? There's a time to cry. There's a time to laugh. Then, if it's a time for the king to raise taxes. Mm -hmm. Where will you get the laugh? Now, <laughs> now you've <laughs> talked about taxes. Mm. And that's something that has really, um, mm. uh, you know, erupted lots of emotions. Yes. Uh, for many Kenyans, they're feeling too burdened. Yes. You know, by these taxation. Uh, they are crying. The they're crying. crying. Pain. They're crying. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but... They're in pain. Yeah, but the, but the state doesn't seem to feel yeah. that cry. doesn't... There's no relenting, you know, to it. Uh, there's no soft landing. Yes. Uh, and now that you hear Kennedy, you see. I, mm, let yeah. me ask you an express mm, question. Mm. What is God saying mm. about the tax situation yes. in contemporary Kenya? That's a good question. Right now, if I may ask you, who are these people crying? Are they the same person? who went to vote or they did not vote? They're the same people. And majority who are crying, are they poor or the rich? The poor. Who are the majority who voted for the government? The poor. Now, before something uh, manifests in the real world, it has to start from the spiritual realm. Now, there, this is where people need to understand how God works. Mm -hmm. 
once you okay you something in this physical world, mm -hmm. you have okayed it in the spiritual world. God works using a certain pattern. Mm -hmm. There's a place he says, I'm, I've placed before you mm -hmm. life and death. Choose life that both you and your children may live. Mm -hmm. What if you choose death? Then you'll die. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you one question? No, mm -hmm. most people take uh, voting for granted. Mm -hmm. As much as I've said that when you go to vote, you are, your responsibility is to vote for the right person, not the winning mm -hmm. person. Have you ever studied uh, political slogans? Have you ever studied political logos before you go to vote and ask yourself? Because like now, when I look at hope, <laughs> Uh, logo, mm -hmm. I can see hope TV. Those are waves, eh? mm -hmm. meaning you. Mm -hmm. It has a meaning. Yeah. What is the logo of Kenya Kwanza? Alliance, the ruling alliance. What is their logo? Mm -hmm. They start from there. Mm -hmm. Did you check if you voted for this government? Did you check their logo? Mm -hmm. Many people don't know. Mm -hmm. If you ask, even if you sample 10 people who voted for this government, then ask them, what is the logo of this government? Mm -hmm. They will not tell you. Mm -hmm. That's now the place of exegesis. Mm -hmm. If you ask people who voted for Azimio, what is the logo of Azimio? They will not tell you. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says clearly that there's a time where people will come with with their own lo with marks and logos so look at those don't just take a mark mm. I just uh, don't just accept anything the, do you know the logo for this alliance is the map of Kenya in darkness mm -hmm. you can google there and check hmm? mm -hmm. so I ask myself for example for me I just I'm very clear and I can tell you openly, mm -hmm. I didn't vote for this government. It's your democratic right. For these reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, I asked myself, what does this logo mean? Mm. Kenya full of darkness. If I okay this, then I'm okaying my country to be in darkness. Mm. Number two, as a Christian, I looked at this uh, slogan, Kazi ni Kazi. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. For me, as a Christian, I know we are called unto good works, not Kazi ni Kazi. Number three, the Bible tells me mm -hmm. God is Alpha Omega. Mm -hmm. Now, the founding fathers of this nation gave us a national anthem that says, O oh God of all creations. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they put God first. Someone comes and says, Kenya, Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. Now, which of this is true? Mm -hmm. Kenya, Kwanzaa, ama Mungu, Kwanzaa. Yes. Somebody may say also that uh, that's art. Yeah. You know, Somebody may say that's art. May it be done. Somebody, some, somebody may say yes. uh, those are words. It's a matter exactly. of semantics. Semantics? Yes. Look here. Mm -hmm. uh, in the witness of one, or uh, when two or three give witness, mm -hmm. then this thing stands ground. I've not just picked one thing. Mm -hmm. I've picked the logo. Why is it map of Kenya full of darkness? Mm -hmm. Then the shield, which is our defense, is put outside Kenya, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, kazi ni kazi, it means you will do anything that you call upon. Mm -hmm. Even if it's slavery, even it, it, it's a job that is against it. So you already have okayed it. Mm -hmm. Number three, you see, the Bible says, may it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. What you are Okaying here on earth must be okayed in heaven mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Number three, when you hear this slogan, for example, bottom mm -hmm. up, you mm -hmm. should ask yourself, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. Because for me, as a theologian, mm -hmm. yeah, when Jesus died on the cross, the curtain of the temple tore into two from top mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. For me, I understand the blessing of God comes from top down. Mm -hmm. So when you hear bottom up, you should also ask yourself, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. and, that's, that, and, that's, and that's what we're saying is that 
Um, that's an interpretation. That's an interpretation. If, if we had a, a person who would speak for yes. that logo, yes. they may actually uh, say very different things. Like maybe mm -hmm. um, the darkness, you call yes. it darkness, mm. it is, uh, our, it's, the, it's our land. It's a okay. land of And let me tell you now, let me just just oppose. Let me just oppose. up, they may say <laughs> something different. <laughs> let me just uh, oppose. The shield outside, they meet Kenya Kwanzaa, they may mean something different. So it's... So it's really exactly. a, a matter of interpretation. It's a matter of interpretation. Mm -hmm. And of this interpretation, mm -hmm. there can only be one interpretation that is true. And it's, now it's up to the mm -hmm. uh, viewer, it's up to the listener. Mm -hmm. I'm giving my part. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why <laughs> at some point mm -hmm. <laughs> we ask ourselves, what is the role mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> of the prophet in the society. You know, and let's do that. Uh, because uh, uh, one other thing that is really, has kind of rocked mm. this, this country at this mm. present time mm. is a division in the church. Yes. You know, there is a part of the church that mm. is with the state. Yes. Like, absolutely. Yeah, yes. There's another church that is in the opposite. They look like they in, are in, in the, the opposition. opposition. Yes. So what's God saying about that? You see, and this is where now we need to to shame the devil mm -hmm. on this. When God gives his vision to the servants, like for example, when he gives a vision to me, mm -hmm. he doesn't necessarily give me the full vision. Mm -hmm. He'll give me part of the vision, then he gives you part of the vision. Why? He wants us to come together and ask ourselves, why? Because if you take a fish mm -hmm. and cut it into two pieces, the head and the tail. Mm. Then you show one person the head, you show another one the tail. You tell them, draw what you've seen. These people will draw uh, two different things. Mm. But initially it was one. God showed part of the church, part of the vision. Mm. Then he showed part of the church, part another. of the vision. Mm -hmm. The church was supposed to come together and put these two opposing such like mm, mm. visions together. When you go to pray, for example, the way you, you, you structure your question, because prayer is a conversation with God, mm -hmm. the way you structure your prayer determines how you'll be answered. Mm -hmm. Why? Let's, for example, go back to the, uh, before the election. You go to God and ask him, God, who will be the next president mm -hmm. of Kenya? I go to God and ask God, who will win this election? Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll get the same answer? Mm -hmm. Or do you think that's, that's the same question? Mm -hmm. You may go and ask, then the problem with uh, the Christianity of today people come out quickly from the place of prayer. Mm. Why? You've gone to ask God, who will be the next president? Mm -hmm. Then God answers you, person B. Mm. Then you quickly move from the place of prayer, excited, and go to prophesy. Mm. You could have waited and asked God, okay, then what is the, your will? Mm. What should I do? After he has become prince, how will he rule? People, after getting an answer, they ran away from the place of prayer and started. Mm -hmm. If they have, they could have waited. For example, they could have been told, "You see, person B is going to be the president. He will raise taxes. People will cry." So they should have come from the place of prayer with a full vision mm -hmm. and coming to tell their congregation, "This is what is going to happen." Mm -hmm. Just like Elisha told. Mm. Some people ask God who will win the election, for example. And maybe they were told Raila. Mm -hmm. And they went out confidently and said, Raila is going to win the election. You know, when you say who will win the election, it means vote count. Mm -hmm. you, you get the point? Mm -hmm. They should have stayed there longer. God will have told them, as much as he will win, he will not be announced. Mm -hmm. For this reason, for this reason, for that reason. Mm -hmm. Then these two fictions or factions of the church will have had one common mm -hmm. message to the congregants. Mm -hmm. There are messages you don't... A complete one. 
complete the plan. Mm -hmm. Told the, the, the voice we are hearing from God, this one says, uh, he will be the, this one will win, but he will rule like this, like mm -hmm. this, like mm -hmm. that. This one mm -hmm. will win, but will not be announced. But mm -hmm. he will be rewarded like this. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, now he's going, maybe if God allows, I uh, wish you would have asked him if the, it is there in the script. <laughs> mm -hmm. And God allows everything for a purpose. Mm -hmm. He can deny you this and give you a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that the appointment of uh, uh, Raila Odinga to the AU yes. um, is, is a, part of this, is, is is part part of God's of the, will? It's part of the God's will. He didn't want him to be the fifth president. Mm -hmm. He wanted him. He wants him to be the AU chairman, a bigger thing. So, so are you already pronouncing that he's going to be that? He's going to be that because it's written. Well, I mean... It's written. I know, I know, <laughs> I know that you... you the you, Bible says... You, you get the scripture. The scripture yeah. says mm -hmm. in Daniel 11 verse 5, the king of south shall be strong, mm -hmm. but one of his princes shall be stronger than him and rule a greater dominion. Okay. You see, All right. so uh, as much as, you see, you need to have a complete story. Am I, am I moving too fast from the place eh? of prayer? You don't move too fast from the place of prayer. So, <laughs> but like, just let me know, just yeah. because we have to, a very interesting conversation. Yes. Um, it raises a lot of questions, yes. uh, even as you give the answers. Yes. But uh, I would want to ask um, yeah. you, and you can answer this briefly. Mm. Now, in a reign of taxes, yes. In a reign of uh, tears and a lot of, you know, let's, let's call it pain. People are crying. Yes. What should they do to ease in their life? Jesus. You know, what, what should they, what is God saying? I mean, yeah. or should we just endure through this season? Or is there something we can do to ease in, mm. uh, to make things better? Uh, why God allows such things? Mm. So for you to be alert on the season you are in. Mm -hmm. There are patterns that are seasons. There's morning season. Mm -hmm. There is after, uh, uh, afternoon season. There is evening season. Mm -hmm. There is night season. So right mm -hmm. now, Kenya is in the night season. Mm -hmm. That is why when you look at the two major uh, coalitions mm -hmm. that were competing, Azmio and Kenya Kwanza, their logos were depicting a night season. Mm -hmm. For Kenya Kwanza, they were depicting an, a season that is night, a night that is full of darkness. Mm -hmm. These other ones, they were depicting a night that has stars. That is why their logo, they picked stars. Mm -hmm. So they both were speaking of the same thing, that we are ushering in the night season. Mm -hmm. Therefore, whoever chose Kenya Kwanza chose a night season that will be Mm -hmm. fully dark. Mm -hmm. Whoever refused as Mio said, we don't want a night that has stars. You get it? Mm. Therefore, once you have okayed it, then it has to. Mm. But at the end of the day, there's nothing, there's nothing any single person could have done to prevent what happened from happening because mm. it has to fulfill the scripture. So the night is our portion, is our, is our season. The night is our season. And you can check in um, Revelation chapter 16, verse 10. It says, when the fifth angel pours the vial in the kingdom, it will be full of darkness, mm -hmm. meaning it will be a night season mm -hmm. and the people will gnaw their teeth for pain. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this is a season like Jesus sees his uh, beloved uh, uh, disciple, Peter, yeah? mm. yeah? beating his chest and saying, I cannot deny you. But Jesus knows the future. Mm. He says, before okay. the cock crows, you'll do what? Yeah. And it has to come to pass. Therefore, mm -hmm. this night season has to come and pass. Okay, finally. Finally. There will be yes. a morning, mm. but mm -hmm. this is the night season. Now, how do we endure the night season? Mm. If the church had the discernment, I know part of the church had the discernment, mm. then we could have prepared our people 
for the season, then people, mm -hmm. some people, you know, <laughs> if you are prepared, you are not caught by surprise. Mm. For example, <coughs> right now you need to look at the advancement of technology in the world and where the world is going. Mm -hmm. When you are crying here that fuel is going up, there's someone else who's laughing because he knew this sometimes back mm -hmm. and he went for an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. Other than being an exigit, yeah, I'm a consultant mm -hmm. in the green energy sector. What informed me to go into green energy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. As people are complaining, like now, when you go in the coastal city where the sun is generous, you find people complaining mm -hmm. of Kenya power rates. And yet, God has given you light that you can tap from top down. Mm -hmm. Basically, human beings don't like changes. Mm -hmm. But now, when God wants you to change, he will create a situation mm -hmm. that will necessitate the automatic change. Mm -hmm. This is a season for people to start thinking mm. what are a, a, a available so don't just look at oil that comes from the bottom mm. up look at the <laughs> sun coming that down co coming down <laughs> all, right. <and> tap. <laughs> all right kennedy <laughs> because I, I think that that also gives um, uh, a ray of hope yes that uh, in the midst of what's oh. going on yeah. if you are if you mm. wait long enough, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that's the, if you wait long <laughs> enough at the place of, of prayer, yeah. at the place of consultation with God, yeah. then you'll find some you'll find stars. Yes, star. you know, yes. stars. Star. Exactly. Now, yeah. Or, or, yeah. I, I would really would, would have wanted to ask on behalf of the doctors mm. whether they're doing the right thing. You know, yes. is God happy with, uh, with what's going on? No, no, you don't answer yeah. because that will be for the next time uh, oh. uh, because of time is gone. <laughs> but they would have really wanted to you know, yeah. are we, should we go on marching because yeah. God is with us? What is God saying about... Mm us being on the streets. But that's for another another time. We yeah. really appreciate, yeah. um, uh, I mean, that um, it's, it's, it's something quite very interesting where you analyze expressly mm. yes. the events of the day yes. uh, using the Bible as yeah. the primary yeah. uh, tool of analysis. Mm. And you'll be back here um, uh, to help us. Uh, I mean, just, just give your views yeah. uh, because these are really your views mm. uh, on, um, on different matters, yes. contemporary matters, yeah. uh, on, what God, uh, on, on what you hear God is saying. Yes. So thank you so much, Kennedy. Thanks so much uh, for your time. Uh, for uh, making time to come. Yes. Uh, and uh, we look forward to that conversation with you. Me too. Uh, again, a viewer, thank you so much. Uh, this has been Spotlight. And we've been talking to uh, uh, Kennedy Akidiva, who is, uh, I mean, a, a, a political exegete, but very unique uh, because he uses, uses the Bible as a primary uh, tool of analysis and lots of things. Um, but all said and done, uh, there is a message of hope. Just look around. The second thing is do not hurry out of the place of prayer. Ask questions. Yes. Get an exhaustive response from God. And that's your good news. This has been Spotlight. Thank you for watching. Thank you.